our next homeboy here is going to be Mr. Andy Pages. Uh, me, me and Ross have talked about Andy Pages for quite some time. We're pretty big fans. Um, uh, we were down on him last year, um, but he had a pretty sparkling good year this year. The the, the power's always been there. Um, Andy Page is six foot one, 212 pounds. He's 23 years old. He's born in Cuba, December 8th. Uh, let's see. His, I, I'd like to speak on what we saw last year in 2022 because uh, we were both down pretty hard um, here. He had 487 at bats, 236 average, 336 on base, 468 slug, um, 26 home runs. We, we weren't blown away because we were expecting so much coming off of 2021 where he had 31 home runs and the 265 average. But he did bounce back this year other than one little category. And that probably because of an injury, but he had 112 at bats this year, 277 average, 425 on base, slugged 482 on base plus slugging of 907. He only had three home runs this year, but it was only 112 at bats. Strikeouts 34, walks 26. He he built something to to really take on there because he was he was striking out a little bit too much um, years prior. And I, I, I think he he kind of figured something out there. He did have seven stolen bases. Everything that I've said there, Ross, do you kind of concur with? Um, we we, we were fans. Yeah, injury plague season. So yeah. I, it's hard to pull too much more. Uh, but he did show dramatic improvement with his plate discipline. Yep. So that's promising. I I don't know what to make of it because it's too small of a sample for this year, but he's on the precipice of the major leagues. I don't know how he cracks the the Dodgers lineup or, or if he fits in there. The power is legit. Yeah. I just don't think the bat is that strong. That's that's the flip side of it. I, I think the hit tool is is pretty weak. Like if, if I were to give scout grades, which you don't, but <laughs> let's go ahead and say I, I uh, pretend like I do, I'd say it's maybe a – 40 bat at most 35 40 bat and we're looking at 65 ish power which a couple of years ago I, I thought he had some of the best power in the minor leagues and he still does have very good power I, sts gives him a, a comp that i i find very interesting to carlos pena hmm. so that's an impact major leaguer and it's somebody that has legit power but again the hit tool is not great so yeah. Um, I think in, in 2021, and I, I don't want to speak for you, but I think we had pages way up there. Like we, we were thinking he was going to be on a rocket ship uh, and he could have been, but it, it, he had a rough 2022, which is fine. You can have bad years. Uh, 2023 was injury plague. Um I am cautiously optimistic here. I, I'm, I'm still on board, um, just lower than I, where I was before. If you own him, he's a hold. If you don't own him, he's not quite a go get him unless at the right price. Yeah. If if you're not giving much up, I would certainly go get him, and then you can sit on him and see what happens. The Dodgers don't mess up. Uh, especially lately, the the Dodgers have been pretty damn good. They're pretty young in the outfield. He's probably not breaking in, in in there unless there's an injury. Mookie did move back to second, from what I heard. Uh, he's going to play strictly second this year, so there's an opening there. But it, I mean, they have young talent. You have Vargas that's still in there. Um, Outman. Um, it, it, it could be tough in this. In, Does Otani play outfield? What are we What are we doing? Is he going to play some outfield this year? He's not pitching at all, right? Not in twenty twenty four, I don't think. So you're not going to put him in the outfield to make him make throws. You're just going to. There, there was some talk that he could play some outfield. At least that's the buzz I heard. So. I mean, that, that's that's just as much strain on your arm throwing it from the outfield as a pitcher, right? 
I mean, if not more. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I mean, you're not doing it a hundred and some times a game, but. Right. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't imagine he plays outfield. Oh, you're going to put that $700 million contract in the outfield. I don't think so. I don't well, see it. You're also not going to pay a DH $700 million, you know? <laughs> To to sit this year and come back healthy next, eh, maybe you do. Fair, okay. If we're just talking about one year, sure. Yeah. So yeah, uh, the unfortunate thing here is the team. Um, I, I don't see him cracked in the lineup, but he can sit in Triple A all year. He needs to prove a lot. He needs to prove a lot. So I, I do. I, I want to say this is a go get him for the right price. Number 74, personally. So I do have him ranked somewhat aggressively. I say, yeah, I'm with you at the right price. So if if somebody is, has him like out of the top 100, that's the guy you want to buy from. If they're like, he's a top 50 prospect, nah. I think if, if most, places, most places you look at, they probably don't have him in the top 100. So... He would be beautiful as a throw-in, where you just don't think your trade's quite good enough. Well, give me pages. That would be beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Okay, cool. Right. So we, cool. we we want him. We just don't want to pay for him. We want him. <laughs> I mean, yeah, like I'm not I'm not giving up a lot for him because I don't think he's a player that's going to be a impact difference maker for your team. I think he's a major league bat though. Yeah. And that yeah, means there's value there. So if there's value there, you want to roster him until you can maximize that value and then move. Right. That's, that's generally how I would approach it. So that's how I would treat pages. Cause I think I feel pretty confident in that stance that he's going to make a difference He's not somebody that I think I want to be a staple on my team, though. So, okay, I like it. Andy Pages. 